It is time once again for Good Day Street Talk. Antoine Lewis reporting. Here's what we're working on today. Every Voice Matters, the commitment to empower young people who stutter so that they can achieve their dreams. We'll tell you about it. And then a little bit later, a program that's pairing young women with a passion for writing with professional writers. We are back. The group Girls Right Now encourages young women to pursue their passion for writing. Maya Nussbaum is founder and executive director. She's here with Linda Kleinbub, a freelance writer who is a mentor in the program, and Jada Fitzpatrick, one of the mentees. Good morning to all of you ladies. Good morning. Good Just morning. tell us about the program, Girls Right Now. Cool name. Thanks for having us here. Absolutely. Girls Right Now is New York's first and only writing and mentoring organization for girls. So we match uh, talented emerging writers like Jada with uh, professional women writers uh, who are dedicated as their mentors, um, like Linda here. They work together in an intensive writing relationship throughout the girls' high school career um, into college and beyond. They, uh, they meet weekly. They meet uh, monthly for writing workshops. Wow. They build multi-genre portfolios. They perform their work publicly everywhere from the White House to the UN. They publish their work uh, in Elle, Newsweek, our award-winning anthology. And uh, they win scholarships and 100% of our seniors go on to college. How long have you all been around? <laughs> <laughs> Working on about two decades now. Wow. Yeah. You do a lot. How do you find the young ladies like Jada? How do you find them or do they find you? A little bit of both. Uh, we work with hundreds of public high schools throughout the New York City area, developing relationships with English teachers, guidance counselors, principals, and they help us to identify students. Linda, did it? Did they have to twist your arm to get you on board? Oh, with not, it? not at all. <laughs> not at all. When I found out about the organization, I thought it was really a great um, organization, and just have a group of women writers supporting each other. I mean, you really can't get that anywhere, you know. And like women are minorities in the writing community as it is, so just have a bunch of women together who support one another, just you know, pull me in. And I'm, I just have a thing about volunteering, so it's just another way of just giving back to the community. Linda, tell us about, you, uh, Jada has you as a mentor. Did you have mentors when you were coming up, beginning to write, or who definitely. did you have? Yeah, definitely. I had uh, teachers in my writing program who acted as mentors for me, and I passed on the lessons I've learned to Jada. One lesson was, like, don't be afraid to write something bad because you always could revise it. And if you write nothing, you have nothing to revise. Okay. <laughs> she loved hearing that. I'm going to borrow that also. <laughs> <laughs> Jada, how long have you been with the program? And this is my second year. Second year. Program, yeah. Now, you still in high school, or where are you now? Yes, and I'm a senior. Senior. Okay, so you found her when she was a sophomore. When you and Linda met, just tell us about when you first came together, the, that first session with Linda. Um, well, we instantly bonded because we both found out there were left-handed Geminis born in June. <laughs> wow. <laughs> so, <laughs> you know, what are the odds of that? So it was just a really interesting experience, and we just instantly connected. I didn't find it awkward. and. Linda's a really amazing person. I'm so glad to have her in my life. So now there are different forms, different genres to writing. Where is your passion? I love poetry. Poetry. <laughs> yes. Okay. It's um, very versatile. So that's why I really love about it. You can really do anything with it, and you can be as open or as implicit as you want, and <laughs> you can do anything. That's why I really love it. So now, when it comes to the, Maya, the program, did you pair up like a student or young lady who has an interest in poetry with a professional who is also a poet per se? Is that how the matching is done? We take a lot of factors into account. Um, we're actually in the midst of enrollment now. Um, our uh, enrollment process is, is quite involved in terms of selecting the girls who really need this program the most and the mentors who will be the most supportive and dedicated to them. So we have a great selection of mentors and mentees to match. And we do look at genre interests, but we also look at geography, mm -hmm. other particular needs, and we build that uh, into our formula. Now, Linda, are you a poet? Is poetry your poetry um, expertise? Was, yes, I study poetry at, in the master's program at the New School. And I also do memoir and personal essays and do a little journalism, but I, my love is poetry. Now, when you saw some of Jada's work, were you immediately, did you see something and you just, you had to, you know, help a lot or just a little bit or just steer the ship in the direction that it was? She's so talented. I, I, should, I mean, immediately when I started reading her work, I was just really impressed by the level of quality that she writes. And I basically, you know, the editing, we help each other edit and maybe, you know, find a better word for here and, you know, but um, she's very talented. 
I'm about, very lucky. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> about how many on both sides, mentors yeah. and mentees, do you have involved in the program, Maya? Uh, we have 200 combined mentors and mentees now, yeah. and we're launching a growth plan. We'll be, be doubling those numbers and expanding beyond that. Now, clearly, these two have bonded, so they're there is no timetable on you know how long a mentee and a mentor can work together right is there a minimum of one academic year okay. oftentimes um, throughout um, high school for the girls and and oftentimes into college and beyond so you ready to give back when you get to um, where Linda is yes definitely <laughs> <laughs> yeah I want to um Open up, eventually open up a nonprofit organization um, for homeless youth, and I want to offer like a creative writing class as well as the um, counseling portion of it. So, and get back awesome. and be eventually become a mentor at Girls Right Now. And Linda, do you have a website, or if someone's curious about some of your works, you know, um, can we find you? If you Google my name, basically my Google Plus page is working as my website right now. Okay. But um, basically, if you Google my name, a lot of my writing is up there. All right, and there's a book that you would like to tell us about that's coming out this year called Revolution? Yes, um, that's uh, our 2016 anthology. Okay. Um, it's an amazing collection of work by uh, all our mentees and mentors. Um, so Jada and Linda are featured in there. And um, go out and get it. You can find <laughs> it on our website, on Amazon, and, uh, and also uh, our girls uh, are reading their original work at our chapters reading series uh, at the General Society Library. We have a reading um, uh, this this Friday night and uh, and one more to go to wrap up the season. June 17th. June 17th. And before you go, just give us the web website really quickly. Girlsrightnow.org. Uh, come visit us, <laughs> learn about how you can mentor, uh, support our growing programs, and get involved in other ways. How cool it was to meet all three of you today. <laughs> Thank you and so much. And best of luck to, all, to you as you grow and Thank continued you. success to you Thank and you. to you too, Maya. Thank, Thank you. you. Thanks for being with us. <laughs> to learn more about today's topics, go to fox5ny.com. You can also like us on Facebook as well as follow us on Twitter. And for all of us here at Fox 5, I'm Antoine Lewis. We hope to see you again next time for more Street Talk. And as always, thanks for the company.